So let's talk a little bit about certifications because you see a lot of stuff uh, on different products, especially coffee related to uh, how the coffee is purchased and how it's grown. Uh, a couple of things that you might see on there, uh, USDA certified organic is definitely one of them. Uh, then you might see a logo that looks like something like this. This is the Fair Trade International logo, but then again, you might see Fair Trade Certified, which is Fair Trade USA, and there's also other stuff like uh, Rainforest Alliance certifications. There's one that we don't see here a lot in the U.S. called UTS certification. Um, that's coming out of the Netherlands, which does a lot of coffee. I don't know a lot about that one. Um, you don't see those a lot on coffees from fresh ground, and here's the reason why. Uh, one of the unfortunately more nebulous terms in the coffee world that's being tossed around right now is direct trade. There's no specific uh, formal definition of what direct trade is and a lot of coffee roasters and other coffee people have different opinions about what it takes to be fair trade. However, these certifications that we see here are all certifications that are bought and paid for uh, and somebody needs to do that certification. In the case of USDA Organic, uh, the US government takes care of that certification. In the case of Fairtrade International, Fair Trade, there's an organization called Fairtrade International and it's various country uh, uh, chapters in different countries that do fair trade certification. In the case of Fairtrade USA, that is a different organization with a different certification process uh, that quite frankly has a little bit of conflict uh, associated with it. I'll let you look that up. Uh, but that is a different organization that does a different certification in a different way uh, that uh, some people disagree with, some people agree with. I'm not here to talk about good or bad, but the bottom line is all of these certifications are certifications that need to be paid for. A person needs to go out to a farm, plantation, whatever the the certification process is and verify that whatever requirements that certification looks for are being met by the farmers. Somebody's got to pay for that certification. And in a lot of cases, particularly the organic certification, uh, that's a pretty expensive one to do and takes a lot of work. Uh, we don't sell any organic coffee because we as a coffee roaster are not certified organic. I have not chosen to go through that certification yet. A lot of our coffee farmers, the coffees that we get in here are not certified organic. Uh, that's because we buy from small coffee farms and the reality of life is they don't have the money to do the organic certification. And not only do they not have the money to do this organic certification on the other side of that coin, a lot of times they don't have the money to buy pesticides and other things, so they're growing organic by default because they have no other choice. So uh, that's a little bit about the certifications that are out there. Uh, the bottom line with this whole thing and what I would recommend that you do as a coffee buyer uh, is you do some research, find out what those certifications each mean, uh, look at the organization's websites, whether that's fairtrade.org or fairtradecertified.net or whatever the case is. Look up those certifications, see if that's something that you uh, are concerned about and want to uh, want to look into and make your buying decisions based on that. Uh, I will tell you this from my own personal experience. Uh, some of the trade certifications that are out there related to costs and prices that uh, people have to pay have gotten pretty watered down over the last, say, five or ten years, uh, unfortunately, and have not, they haven't been able to verify that those funds that they raise or whatever they're paying extra actually reach the growers. Uh, so we feel personally that working with organizations that are embedded long term. Uh, in growing regions such as Growers First, such as Dominion Coffee, uh, that we can work with and support their efforts to help uh, farmers grow better coffee and give them a sales outlet for their coffee uh, is a much better direction to go uh, 
than actually paying for a certification that uh, may or may not work. So uh, those, we'll leave a lot of those decisions up to you. Love to hear what you think about uh, certifications and especially which ones are important for you. Uh, do you always look for organic stuff? Do you always look for fair trade? Uh, do you know anything about UT certification? Maybe you can educate us a little bit. So uh, leave some comments down below. We'd love to hear from you. Talk to you soon.